federal government has issued a local disaster declaration for a section of Johnston that has been heavily flooded. It's the second time in eight years that Belfield Drive has flooded so badly that some residents can't even drive to their own homes. The announcement from the feds came during a meeting at Johnston Town Hall this morning. We're told there are about eight houses impacted by the flooding. The Department of Agriculture says the immediate solution would be to knock down two houses and turn the land into a floodplain. Now, if residents decide to move, they would be paid by the federal government. We spoke with one homeowner who says she does not want to do that, but the mayor says this problem isn't an easy fix. I don't want to leave my house. I don't want to have to keep dealing with this, but it looks like... I might have to try to find my own solution. There's nothing that we, the town can do now to immediately get rid of the water, because if that was the case, uh, you all wouldn't be here and they wouldn't be here. Today, Iowa News News reporter Michaela McDonald spoke with another Johnston resident who now doesn't have any heat in her home as a result of flooding in the basements. Michaela's in the control room now with the story new tonight. That flooding is not only impacting travel on the street, it's also filling basements. Belfield Drive in Johnston looks more like a pond than a street right now. Ducks are swimming down the road. Police are escorting people across the water to go to work. This neighbor even needs to put on waders to get the mail. The water has made its way inside Karen Casey's home. We probably have now about eight inches of water in the basement. I had to turn my furnace off because the water is so high and I have no heat now. No hot water. This morning, Casey's son helped her try to save some items from the basement. He's at least trying to salvage the washer and dryer. Casey says the situation has gotten a lot worse over the last two days, but the flooding has been happening on the street for about two weeks. They said it's not a public safety issue. I think it is. There's going to be mold in here. I'm a cancer survivor. I just, I'm only six months out from chemotherapy. My immune system is weakened from that. This is not the first time the neighborhood has dealt with drainage issues. Casey moved in right after the flooding in 2010. I bought that furnace because of the last flood. <laughs> So that flood is only, uh, that furnace is only eight years old. And if something happens to that now, I don't know how I'm going to replace it. With rain in the forecast for Saturday night, Casey is nervous that this situation could get worse. Michaela McDonald, Eyewitness News.